Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about melatonin and breast cancer. This video was prompted by questions from our viewers. As always, you can put a comment or a question below and we try to get back to you right away. Before I go on, I'd love to encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content and you can go to yerba.com for your personalized report. So let's talk about melatonin. What is it? Can it reduce the risk of breast cancer? Is it safe to take as a sleep aid? Melatonin is a hormone produced in the body by the pineal gland, which is a tiny pea-sized gland at the base of the brain. The pineal gland regulates our circadian rhythms, that is our sleep and wake cycles, and melatonin is the hormone involved in that. Interestingly enough, melatonin precursor is serotonin. So if you've heard about serotonin as a happy hormone, serotonin, serotonin is converted into melatonin. Not any clinical relevance, but quite interesting. When we are exposed to light, our pineal gland produces less melatonin. And then as the day becomes darker and the house is darker and quieter, we make more melatonin and that signals the body to get ready to go to sleep. If you have irregular exposure to light, for example, you work a night shift or you work a few day shifts and then a night shift, or if you're up a lot uh, in the night and sleeping a lot in the day, your sleep-wake cycles can become disrupted. There was some epidemiologic evidence suggesting that night shift work or ir irregular work hours was associated with an increase in the risk of breast cancer, but that hasn't been borne out in the most high quality studies. There are also some articles that you may have seen about melatonin decreasing the risk of breast cancer or increasing the effectiveness of treatment. And it does look like in cellular models where we take breast cancer cells and put them on a glass dish and culture them to grow up that uh, melatonin may make tamoxifen uh, more concentrated in cancer cells and may make chemotherapy drugs like the anthracycline doxorubicin more effective. This hasn't been borne out in clinical studies, however. In some animal studies and in some studies of breast cancer cells on glass, again in petri dishes, it looks as though there may be some efficacy of melatonin in down-regulating the estrogen receptor. And so one would think that it might be useful in decreasing the risk of breast cancer. However, there are no clinical trials in people and we generally don't want to recommend um, or offer supplements in the absence of stronger data. What about melatonin as a sleep aid? Melatonin is a very effective and safe supplement or hormone you can take to help you sleep. It is important to recognize that it is a hormone and if you don't like taking hormones, you don't want to be taking melatonin. It is not an estrogen hormone though. It doesn't stimulate cancer cells to grow. If you're interested in melatonin to help with sleep, you will find that after a while it will stop working and you need to take a break. Melatonin in the United States is sold over the counter at all sorts of places. You'll want to look for a brand that the pharmacist tells you has been checked to make sure what it has in it is actually what it says it has in it. In general, it comes in different doses. I don't recommend specific doses here on our uh, Yerba channel, but uh, sometimes people start with one pill and need to go to two pills. And then again, as I mentioned, take a break altogether before it will start working again. The body sort of gets used to it. The most important thing if you wanna regulate your own melatonin is to keep your room very dark at night. Even the light from uh, a nightlight or from your computer in the room or the television or um, you know any of the electronics you might have in your room can disturb your sleep by messing with the melatonin production at night. Other things you want to do is make sure that before you get ready to go to bed, you dim the lights, you stay away from your computer and screens for up to two hours before you go to bed if you're really struggling. I've covered a lot in this video. Melatonin is a sleep aid, melatonin naturally produced by the brain, and also the interesting, intriguing, but not clinically yet borne out 
possibility that melatonin may reduce the risk of breast cancer or make treatment more effective. Again, there's no evidence that you should be taking melatonin in that setting. Hope this has been helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. You can drop a comment or a question below. We get back to you just as soon as we can. And thanks for watching.